Okay, few questions for you guys. Uh, who has used machine learning before? Uh, wow, that's so many people. Who has heard about uh, label maker before? And uh, who has done land use map before? Okay, that's that's majority of the group has done anything uh, related to that. And just think about when you have a high resolution sunlight image and you have OSM, OpenStreetMap, right, data, how you can um, match those two up and see, like, you know, like, uh, what you can do with uh, machine learning. And I particularly develop a Python package, basically compile all this, uh, all this um, neural nets uh, algorithm together, and you can call, like, pixel decoder tree and pixel uh, decoder uh, de uh, predict, right, from that. And I am going to show you some of those results. Uh, this is the road network, like, predicted from the machine learning algorithm, uh, particularly is a uh, neural net. And from this map, from this prediction, particularly, you can uh, use uh, think about the use case, right? Like you can use it to direct the mapper. For example, like oh, this is new road, big building, this area, and machine learning be able to tell you that, and that map, uh, that road is not existed in OpenStreetMap yet. So basically, go there and uh, map this road, and not only the roads, right? Like we can do a uh, building building footprints as well. Uh, like, okay, this is new building, like, being built, and uh, machine learning uh, funded from the high resolution satellite image, but that is not updated on OSM, so that is can direct the uh, mapper to map that area, right? So, by looking at this map, the prediction from the uh, neural nets, it's not uh, super bad, right? And this is uh, this is uh, the prediction from uh, Dar Islam, Tanzania, and I'm gonna show you how the image look like. So uh, from the first is the sunlight image go into the neural net, right? Like going to the pixel decoder, and this. The second one is basically the label data, like which pixel is belong to rows. And by matching up these two uh, image, like uh, RGB uh, satellite image and row uh, label data, and basically like do all this calculation and neural net just figure out like, oh actually like, you know, like this is a uh, row and non rows prediction, right? And you can do like, um, other things too, like building, like I said, and also like land classes of flooded or not flooded, right? And that is basically what a pixel decoder, and we have particularly two tools to help you to do that. One is Label Maker. Label Maker is basically like pair up the uh, satellite RGB information and also la uh, label data from OSM, right? Like pair those up, prepare the training data, and pixel decoder will grab those two uh, data and like do all this uh, neural nets and machine learning on top of it. I'm not going to uh, go into deep, but if you have uh, questions, I, I would like, uh, I would love to answer that. Um, uh, then you can. Uh, select like you know like different algorithm and see how this performed. And if you are using a uh, neural net and you want to contribute like you know like compile a different algorithm to this pixel decoder or you want to use pixel decoder to work on a different sort of problem, uh, let me know and I would love to help it out and you know, uh, we like to show some like uh, interesting uh, use case. And basically, if you find me on GitHub, my uh, my username is G O E G E O Y I, and find me there. And 
I so far only have uh, 12 likes, uh, no, 20, uh, 20 likes, and um, so basically I I have a notebook here, uh, like tip in store, and like how to manipulate with data, and basically this is two command line to run this. A pixel decoder, like pixel decoder train, and then you select, like you know, like what RGB uh, folder direct directory is, and you know, like uh, label data, like mask uh, 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 directory, and then uh, you just like select all this uh, model ID, and then tree and then it, it will train a neural network for you and predict, and it will predict whatever, like roads, non-roads, buildings, not buildings, and you know, like all this. You can try land classification too if you have a good quality training data. But yeah, if you're interested, just talk to me, and that's it.